Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving back into Psychic Up. So welcome back to the amazing super fast paced format of Go Battle League with a team that I think you're gonna enjoy a lot as soon as you're gonna finish watching this video because this team has some clear weaknesses, especially the fairy types up in front and if you can stay till the end to watch this entire video you will also learn how to counter even those fairy types. So this team lacks a fairy type of its own and of course doesn't even have Victini so this is why I recommend to you even more. It is sticking out of the box and of course you're still gonna use some very meta key relevant Pokemon for this uh, Psychic Up. So over here we're having uh, the Gardevoir and I decided to go a little bit too greedy here up against my opponent but to be honest it really pays out because uh, we're still gonna be able to grab those shields out of play. So Malamar now returns into the battle and all we have to do is to complete the farm down with our Braxis. Of course, first we need to respect the damage from the foul play, so it all depends on what they have at the back. It is not gonna be a Victini, but instead a Claydol. So Claydol can always uh, survive one move, but still you can see that those Aqua Tails are gonna do so much damage that in combination with a few bites we can still guarantee the knockout into the next one now and we're having a rapid dash up in front so this is why i recommend staying till the end you want to see how you can play against those fairy types so rapid dash is ob obviously a very bad one for our team because the, our only answer up against it is most probably gonna be slow king but still we have a lot of play against our opponents so most slow kings on the mirror decide to go for the bait that's why i decided to let that first one go through and right after we have another Saddle ball for them ready to go. They decide to block, and this is pretty crucial because now they are down to shields, which means that we can easily go in with Braxis and start farming down all that remaining energy. Now that they have no shields at all, even when Rapid does returns, we can still survive one body slam while delivering a big blow with our Aqua Tail. They decide to switch out to their own Braxis, trying to catch a move, I believe, or just snipe us down, but we know better because our Malamar is ready to go. And of course, one foul play will finish off the opposing Braxis, while the second foul play will connect for big damage on the Rapid Dash. The only question remains though, how much damage? Not enough to farm down with the Psycho Cuts, but still we have the upper hand because we can easily manipulate this battle towards our advantage and look at that trainer's foul plays coming up and Rapid Dash is out of the way. So this team helped me gain 9 wins in a row and also one draw which we are gonna see in a while. So over here we're having now the Rapidas once again up in front, a very bad lead, we need to switch out to our Slow King and of course they will answer back at us with that uh, uh, second Slow King of their own. Uh, so seeing the Slow King after the Rapidas makes me always think that they might have something like a Slow Bro, but we saw before that this was not the case at all, but i just thinking like this all the time. So anyways, I'm having now the Fall Play for the them and this Galarian Slow King will go down. So now they return to the battle with the Rapidas but right here we're having the upper hand with all that energy gain and right after I will switch out into my Braxis. I will block the first one this time because uh, they're getting super super nervous as it seems. Not gonna switch out the Rapidas which makes me think that whatever lies at the back might be weak to my Brax over here. Once again they have a clay doll so this is looking kinda good for us because now we can pressure a lot with our moves. Of course they need to sacrifice some energy in the process so it's all good because whatever they throw they cannot reach to back to back moves before I reach to my foul play so Malamar here is gonna get that sweet victory for my team and Rapidas returns but of course we're gonna see the draw. Totally forgot about Rapidas and this is the one draw that I was talking about. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it uh, just imagine that I just forgot it that it existed so perhaps I could just not tap at all and absolutely lose this battle but yeah well played to my opponent over here into the next one now and we're having the Rapidas with the Mega Horn of course we're gonna respect the damage from the High Horse Power because some people tend to run it shout out to me I guess and Poke Slow uh, but still right here we're just gonna keep going at it with those back to back serves and still we have a lot of energy to spare so on this incident you need to get to Shadow Ball because every Victini out there knows that they can survive 
the search so they will take the first one but as you can see over here we can still grab the shield before we go down just barely enough with that final serve so over here v create is coming up we need to respect the damage and on the switch we're met up with that gardevoir before i switch out to my braxis i definitely need to do some cheap damage on that pokemon with a simple foul play now we can easily farm down and of course they need to sacrifice some energy in the process so yeah v create is coming up but at this point we can still survive even with a glimpse of uh, hp and we can still farm down with those bites into the next one now and we're having the malamar on the lead uh, you know what over here how i like to play this one is to always charge up to the hyper beam and either throw the fall play or just go straight with it but because before you saw that my opponent uh, took the first fall play i was thinking that perhaps i need to get to the hyper beam still uh, they need uh, three fall plays to faint while if i get to the hyper beam and land it we can absolutely have the upper hand towards the next fall play and as it seems this is the case so they can still farm down without uh, sloking but it doesn't matter at all as soon as we got the shields braxis can still go to town i was pretty sure they were gonna bait here that's why it did not block at all otherwise i could go for the shield but over here i'm just gonna reach now to the psychic funks to try and do some cheap damage on their pokemon and probably uh, and probably lethal but as it seems my opponent here decides to go for the shield which is obviously very good news for us at the back they have a slow bro and all of a sudden we have a crazy win on here because at the back they have a slow bro which is super weak to my shadow ball so here comes the first one and even if they block we can reach to the next one right straight ahead if we want to but for some reason i get to the over farm for no reason at all actually and of course locking now returns but we can simply farm down with our hexes since they are energy dry into the next one now with the Malamar on the mirror. How well can we play this one right now? Because once again, I will try to get up to the Hyper Beam and perhaps throw the, throw the Fall Play, but instead I'm gonna get straight to that Hyper Beam and to my surprise, they always take that move, which is super great news. Now we can definitely add speed to the next Fall Play, but this one has super power. Oh my freaking goodness. Also trying to snipe me down with that Gardevoir, which is pretty good I guess and right here now that we are having the upper hand with our slow king so they have a severely hurt uh, uh, version of uh, Malamar and at the back they also have a mud slapper so at this point we need to switch out into our Braxis and of course uh, since they know that we have two shields they will just back out since their Malamar is also severely hurt into the final one now and we're having the Gardevoir up in front so yeah obviously a very bad one let's see how well we can play this because not only we're having a very bad lead but also a very bad switch on the face of this Braxis and we also managed to get a shield with a bait which means now that we can still press for that second shield with our shadow ball so down we go in the process to the bites but now Malamar can definitely go in and start doing some solid work I was having a little bit of FPS drop as you saw over there over tapping but still we can reach to back to back foul plays they managed to snipe us down with with a simple charm which is a bummer but still we got the Braxis which can farm down the remaining HP that this Gardevoir is having. I'm expecting their third Pokemon to emerge into the battle but instead they throw their Braxis. So now Slowbro comes in and this Slowbro has access to Water Gun which is resisted. Can we finish off before they finish us? And yes we can trainers with one simple HP remaining this outcome was absolutely insane to end this video and I'm super glad that it happened. Thank you for watching trainers and for staying till the end. Just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of my content here on YouTube. And speaking of more of my content, here are two videos for you to check out and I will see you all into our next upload.